What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today on The Engineer Next Door, we're going to install a ground rod with no power tools. So let's get at it. All right, I need to take care of a couple of code things before we get started here. One, our new ground rod needs to be buried at least eight feet into the ground. Two, the new ground rod needs to be at least five eighths inches thick. Three, our spacing between our existing ground rod and our new ground rod needs to be six feet at least minimum. And then four, our new wire size between the existing and the new ground rods needs to be a number four uh, wire. Here's a look at the existing ground rod that we have. This is a brand new number four copper wire ran up to the panel. And so we're gonna add this copper wire to this ground rod and then also our brand new ground rod's gonna be uh, out in the yard a little bit more. All right, so here's our ground rod that we purchased at Home Depot. It is eight feet tall and five eighths thick. So we're actually going to bury ours 18 inches down the ground. So the top of the ground rod is going to be 18 inches below grade. And so our ground rod at the bottom is going to be nine foot six below grade. All right, another couple things we need to consider before we start this project is what is in our area that we're going to start digging in. And so since I live on property, uh, I don't have any public utilities out here except for the electrical coming in and I have nothing coming in over here. The only thing that's in this area is my propane tank. And so we see the propane gas line that goes under, over, and to the right here. So we're going to build to the dig to the left of that to make sure we stay clear of the gas line. But other than that, we just have the rain gutters, but that goes uh, over to the left here. So we're going to dig out towards the middle of the grass line in order to avoid all of the underground utilities in the area. Okay, we're going to take our ruler here, measure our distance between our new ground rods. And so we're actually going to do 10 feet between the new ground rods. And yet again, code is just minimum. You can always do extra. So we need a minimum of six feet, but I'm going to do 10 feet just to be sure. You don't know where that existing ground rod was drilled at before. So we're going to give ourselves a little cushion. So. Okay. Now we're going to take our edger and that's where we need to dig to. We got our hole dug here. So let's start pounding in this ground rod. Here I'm just showing you dig a little bit deeper than your final ground rod depth so installation will be easier. As you can see, we're about 21 inches. All right, now that we got our hole dug, we're going to use a T post driver to drive in the ground rod. Now that we got our trench dug, we can start installing our grounding electrode conductor. One other item I wanted to mention is the grounding electrode conductor from the panel to the existing ground rod to the new ground rod is going to be one continuous run. The wire will not be spliced. 
Best practice for grounding and bonding is always to have an unspliced wire. Now that we have our wire installed, this is the part where you get buy off from your inspector. My inspector wanted 12 inches below grade, but we did 18 as shown here, just for a little bit more physical protection. And now that we got buy off from the inspector, we can start filling our hole back in. All right. Here's our ground rod in the bottom there. And just to show you, we are right, oops, here we go. Right at the 18 inch mark there. So now our ground rod is 18 inches below grade. What we're gonna use to connect the ground rod to the wire is this bronze ground clamp. And so what you do is slide this over the ground rod and then insert the wire into it and then just screw it down and that's what's going to tighten it all right that's what our final connection looks like got the ground wire coming in on the left ground rod and then the ground clamp on the right uh, that's over it and then just tighten down by that screw all right y'all that's going to wrap up how to install a ground rod like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one